Imagine this. You're setting up a new internet connection at home. The technician hands you two mysterious boxes, one labeled modem, the other router. You stare at the blinking lights, wondering, what exactly does each device do? Do you need both? And why do tech experts always talk about them as if they're the backbone of your digital life? If you've ever felt confused about the difference between a modem and a router, you're not alone. These two gadgets are essential to modern connectivity, yet they often get mixed up. Understanding how they work and how they work together can help you troubleshoot problems, optimize your network, and make smarter decisions when upgrading your equipment. In this video, we'll break down the modem versus router debate using clear comparison points. By the end, you'll know exactly what each device does, why you need them, and how they shape your online experience. Primary function, internet access versus network management. The most fundamental difference between a modem and a router lies in their core purpose. The modem is your gateway to the internet. Its job is to connect your home to your internet service provider, ISP. It translates the digital signals from your ISP into data your devices can understand and vice versa. Without a modem, your home would have no way to access the internet. The router, on the other hand, is the traffic manager inside your home. It takes the internet connection provided by the modem and distributes it to your various devices, laptops, phones, smart TVs, and more. The router creates a local network, allowing your devices to communicate with each other and share the single internet connection from the modem. In short, the modem brings the internet to your home, the router spreads it around. How they connect. ISP link versus device distribution. The modem is directly connected to your ISP, usually via a coaxial cable for cable internet, a phone line for DSL, or a fiber optic cable for fiber internet. It has a single port for this connection and typically one ethernet port to connect to a single device, either a computer or a router. The router connects to the modem via an ethernet cable. It then provides multiple ethernet ports for wired devices and in most cases, broadcasts a Wi-Fi signal for wireless devices. The router acts as a hub, letting all your devices access the internet through that single modem connection. Key takeaway, the modem links your home to the wider internet, while the router links your devices to each other and to the modem. Operation layer, physical versus network layer. Modem operates at the physical layer, layer one, and the data link layer, layer two, of the OSI model. It's responsible for converting and transmitting signals between your ISP and your home network. Router works at the network layer, layer three. It manages data traffic within your local network, assigns local IP addresses, and determines the best path for data packets to travel between devices and the internet. Bottom line, the modem handles the translation between your ISP and your home, while the router manages the traffic within your home. Device connectivity, single device versus multiple devices. By itself, a modem can only connect to one device at a time. If you plug a computer directly into the modem, that computer will have internet access, but nothing else in your home will. Router designed to connect multiple devices simultaneously, both wired and wireless. With a router, you can have dozens of devices online at once, all sharing the same internet connection. Network creation, no LAN versus creates LAN. Modem does not create a local area network, LAN. It simply provides internet access to a single device. Router creates a LAN, allowing all your devices to communicate with each other, share files, stream media, and even print wirelessly, regardless of whether they're connected via Wi-Fi or Ethernet. IP address assignment. Public versus private IPIS. Modem receives a public IP address from your ISP. This is the address that the outside world sees when you access the internet. Router assigns private IP addresses to each device on your local network. It uses a process called Network Address Translation NAT to manage traffic between your devices and the wider internet, keeping your internal network private and secure. Takeaway, the modem handles your public identity online, 
the router manages your internal addresses. Wireless capability, wired only versus Wi-Fi enabled. Traditional modems are wired only devices. They do not provide Wi-Fi or any wireless connectivity. Most modern routers are Wi-Fi enabled, broadcasting wireless signals throughout your home so you can connect smartphones, tablets, and laptops without cables. Some routers also support advanced features like guest networks, parental controls, and mesh networking. Security features. Basic versus advanced protection. Modem offers minimal security. Its main job is to connect you to the internet, not to protect your network. Router acts as your network's first line of defense. Routers come with built-in firewalls, encryption options, like WPA3 for Wi-Fi, and other security features to help block unauthorized access and keep your data safe. Typical use case, internet gateway versus home office networking. Modem essential for any internet connection. Whether you're at home, in an office, or running a business, you need a modem to access the internet. Router essential for sharing that internet connection among multiple devices. In homes, offices, and public spaces, routers make it possible for everyone to get online at the same time. Dependency. You cannot access the internet without a modem. However, if you only have one device and don't need Wi-Fi, you could technically get by with just a modem. In today's world, though, most people have multiple devices and need a router to share the connection and provide wireless access. Physical ports, fewer modem versus more. Modem typically has just two ports, one for the ISP connection, cable, DSL, or fiber, and one ethernet port for connecting to a router or computer. Router usually offers several ethernet ports, four or more, for wired connections, plus antennas for Wi-Fi. Some routers also have USB ports for printers or external storage. Combined devices, modem router combos. Some ISPs provide all-in-one devices that combine both a modem and a router in a single box. These modem router combos simplify setup and save space, but they may not offer the same level of performance or customization as separate devices. Pros, easier setup, fewer cables, less clutter. Cons, limited upgrade options, potentially weaker Wi-Fi, and less control over advanced features. Tip, tech enthusiasts and those wanting the best performance often prefer separate modem and router units. The dynamic duo of home networking. To sum up, the modem and router are the dynamic duo of your home network. The modem brings the internet into your home while the router spreads it to all your devices and keeps your network organized and secure. Understanding their differences can help you troubleshoot connectivity issues, upgrade your equipment wisely, and get the most out of your internet connection. So, next time you see those blinking lights, you'll know exactly what's going on, and you'll be one step closer to mastering your digital domain.